Hello all, welcome to the next section, Error Handling and SQLite Data Reading. In this section we'll learn to handle exceptions, show errors in Android UI, then learn about centralised error logging, and finally we'll be reading SQLite data with Store.io. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with exception handling in RxJava. In this video we're going to learn how to use methods such as do on error or exception resume next to gracefully adjust the flow when an error occurs. It's important to gracefully inform the user about failures if they happen, and more important, not to leave any loose exceptions so that they don't kill Android applications, completely ruining user experience. There are multiple ways of implementing exception handling in RxJava, and we'll now learn how to use them. First of all, the most common way to handle errors and exceptions is to use the dot subscribe method. The dot subscribe method takes an additional argument that is used to process the exceptions that the observable or operators have thrown. So we'll open the main activity file. And here we've added this code. As it is now, it will kill the entire application because there is an exception thrown in the dot do on next operator. This can easily be migrated using the second argument of the dot subscribe method. More concisely, it can be done with this line of code. Here, the overloaded dot log method is available with this block of code. So, we'll run our app now. After this gets executed, we'll find that the exception was successfully logged as illustrated. As you can see, this is a very simple and straightforward way to handle errors. Also, this is usually one of the best fail-safe ways to handle exceptions. Next method is on exception resume next. On exception resume next is a great way to restore the flow processing from some other observable after an exception has occurred. It can be used as a mechanism to plug in the backup observable if the original one fails. Let's take a look at an example of how it can be used. This is the code for on exception resume next. This time we won't see any exceptions in the logs, and the second item will be processed normally. When we run the code, this will appear in the logs. The item for this message was taken from the second observable that was created with this line of code. So when the exception occurred, it reached the on exception resume next operator, and it resumed the sequence from the second observable. Also, in this case, we've used a special observable that just emits an error and ceases its operation. Basically, it's a shortcut to throw an exception in an observable-like fashion. This method will become extremely useful in any developer's toolbox when working with RxJava. Next method is dot do on error. Dot do on error is a bit of a different beast. It's used to intercept errors that haven't reached the dot subscribe yet. You may wonder how this is possible is because the flow can be intercepted and recovered from an exception. In such a case, the original exception will never reach the error handler if it's implemented in the dot subscribe section. For example, we can build on a previous case with dot on exception resume next, as shown here in this block of code. Here we've added a line dot do on error. It will intercept the exception before it reaches the dot on exception resume next block. So when we run the app, we'll get this output. Again, it's a super useful tool when there is a need to display notifications in the Android UI, or just log that something failed in general. There are a few other methods to process the errors. They're not so commonly used, but still it's useful to know them. In this section we'll cover them briefly, so that the reader will be familiar with the available options in case there's a need for them. First one is on error, resume next. Dot on error resume next is very similar to dot on exception resume next, but as the name implies, it can handle more general errors. Dot on exception resume next handles only throwables of the java.lang exception type and its subclasses. Dot on error resume next can catch java.lang throwable and java.lang.error. In the end, it's more general handler that can help catch system errors, such as out of memory error. Next one is dot on error return. Dot on error return works in a similar fashion to dot on error resume next, but instead of using observable to resume the flow, it takes the value unwrapped from the observable. This is the code for dot on error return method. 
we can see that we didn't need to wrap return in the observable class of any kind. The last is on error return item. Again, dot on error return item is a lot like dot on error return, but is even simpler. In this case, it just returns a constant that was specified at the time an observable was created, as here. That's all in this video. Here we successfully handled all exceptions, 